Hey everyone, so today I have a nice new set of acrylic nails and I've already gone ahead and prepped all of my clients natural nails, self sanitised her hands and my hands, pushed back the cuticles, gone in with my diamond cuticle bit, gone in with my sanding band, etched the nail plate, dehydrated the nail plate and primed and now I'm going in with crystal clear acrylic and I'm going to build my free edge using this. I'm then going to go in with Perfect Peach and I'm going to place this at the cuticle area, blend around the cuticle area, pushing it up but not touching any of the skin and then with the body of my brush blending that product down into like a fade because we're going to do a glitter ombre on this nail. The glitter that I'm using is a mix I made myself. It is just got super fine holographic glitter and matte gold dots. So really, really easy to make yourself. I'm just gonna apply this at the free edge really thin and blend down into kind of like a waterfall. And then I'm gonna cap this nail in crystal glass. So now I'm not going to cap that pinky yet, I'm just going to allow the glitter to set in place. So on the ring finger I'm going to go ahead and create my clear base. I'm not going to apply it right down to the nail bed because we don't want any unnecessary bulk in that area, there's just no need because we're going to go in with a core powder anyway. And I'm just creating my length and shape with the crystal glass because we're going to do some colour blocking on this nail. <laughs> So now I'm going to go back and cap that pinky finger and I'm just going to apply that glitter at the area where the glitter fades, making sure my apex is in place and then I'm just going to drag and pat that bead down to cover the entire nail, making sure the glitter goes matte and that is all capped. So going back to the ring finger, I'm just going to apply Perfect Peach in a kind of slant, making sure that I'm building the structure with this nail bed colour and making sure I've got a nice wall to file to so that when we put our next colour up, it's nice and crisp. The middle finger is just going to be a full nail of Perfect Peach. So I'm gonna do this in the three ball method and I'm just going to apply my first bead at the join from the nail form and the nail bed. Create my length and shape and then I'll go and complete the rest of the nail making sure I complete the structure and the strength and the apex with the cover peach because we don't need to cap this nail.
going back to the ring finger and filing that slant really nice and crisp making sure my file is on a 45 degree angle pushing right up to that wall where we want our color to put up to and then i'm going to go in with snow white and do the same process again We're going to do the same process on the index finger as we did on the pinky. So I've already gone ahead and applied my clear platform from the free edge. And then I'm going in with perfect peach, feathering down, and then we're going to go in with the glitter mix of my own and feather back up. And then we will cap this nail. Then we're going to go back to the white and file that crisp again and then we're going to complete the nail by adding the glitter mix we're using onto that free edge and then we will cap the glitter. If you make sure you're building your structure with your core powders there will be no need to cap these designs just make sure you're conscious of how much product you're using it's very easy not to use enough and then when you file it crisp the nail is just way too thin so always take note of how much product you're using make sure you're building up your apex and stuff with your um colors that are core powders if you're not using core powders then you will need to put a clear base on the whole entire nail file and then cap in clear So I went ahead, filed, shaped and buffed and I did just nick my client there because I didn't score the edge of my new file and I just tiny, tiny nicked with my file. Um, so make sure when you use new files, you do score the edges of them so they're not sharp. Cleaned away all of the dust and now I'm going in with CJP Tech Free Top Gloss. Just applying a nice amount to all of the nails. Hi puppy. 
curing in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I will allow it a couple of minutes to cool down before I go in with cuticle oil to replenish all those nutrients we've dehydrated out. And then that will be the end of the video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this set. I absolutely loved doing it. Curler blocking is one of my favorite things to do. When it looks right, it's just beautiful. Um, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I love you all and I'll see you all again in my next one. And don't forget to join my nail group. Um, the link is in the description box. There's lots of things going on in there, like live feeds, competitions, so come along and join.